It is Friday, October 30th. I'm Alicia Smith. In the news, the election now just four days away, and the presidential candidates are now focusing on Michigan. President Donald Trump will be holding a rally this afternoon in Waterford Township. Joe Biden will be joined by former President Barack Obama in Michigan tomorrow. The time and place have not yet been announced. The ban on the open carry of guns at the polls is now headed to the Michigan Supreme Court for last-ditch appeal. A state attorney general, Dana Nessel, filed the emergency application after the Court of Appeals refused to block an injunction against the ban. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson issued the directive to address fears of voter intimidation on Election Day. But the appeals court ruled there are laws to deal with that issue. Tomorrow's big game between U of M and Michigan State is going to look a lot different. No fans will be inside the big house, but a select few. Also, tailgating and parking around or near Michigan Stadium will not be allowed. U of M police are teaming up with Ann Arbor Police and the Health Department to make sure all rules are followed. The Detroit Tigers look like they're close to hiring A.J. Hinch as their next manager. Hinch won the World Series with the Houston Astros in 2017, but was suspended this past season because of Houston's sign-stealing scandal. Hinch also played one season with the Tigers back in 2003. Kevin? Well, it's going to be cold today, a high of just 43, but we'll have decreasing clouds. Tonight, most of the clear, a low of 30. And tomorrow for Halloween, the sun's going to be out all day. No rain in the forecast, so that's great dry weather for trick-or-treaters. High of 50 will be in the mid-40s um, throughout the evening Saturday. It gets windy and warmer Saturday night. Temperature's going to stay in the 40s. We have rain showers Sunday morning, changing to snow showers Sunday afternoon.